Good morning, my friends. I'm sure you did not expect to see me looking like this. White dress shirt, necktie, and even got the the jacket over here in the seat. Well, I'm going to eat lunch with the Queen of Denmark. <laughs> well, that, that does need a little bit of explanation. As you know, my granddad was in the resistance movement during Second World War. And um, all the kids and grandkids of the members of this group have been invited to Wistin Wistin Inn, uh, which was the uh, that was the town they came from, and and the inn was the leader of the group was the the host that or the owner of the inn back then, and uh, we have been invited to that place to have lunch with the Queen of Denmark. Uh, it's going to be around 80 people, and uh, first we're going to go to the to the to the inn to have lunch. Then we're going to go to the grave graveside, and uh, the queen is going to put down uh, some flowers or something like that. Uh, and then we are going to go to a church for a, a memorial mass. It is 75 years um, ago they were executed, so it's kind of a memorial for the execution of the of the group um and well going to lunch with the queen i i guess i had to uh, dress up a little bit and um well i did not have clothes like this so i actually went to a second hand shop and bought this um bought this clothes the jacket and the dress shirt and the tie and everything um, I did not want to go to uh, a normal store and buy new and because I'm going to use it this one time and maybe never again or maybe in 10-15 years I'm going to need so I'm just going to and it was cheap so but it look, I think it looks okay so uh, let's see but anyway I just stopped at this pull off to, to, to tie my my necktie um it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> what do you do? I was mood stalking at my brother's place last night. And uh, he's going as well. And uh, we're going to meet down there. He had to go pick up his son. Because obviously the son is uh, not going for the, the thing with the queen. But all the, the spouse of the grandkids and the kids of the the group members they're going to another place to uh, have lunch and and stuff because they're invited they're not invited it's only the kids and grandkids of the members so um but anyway i will try to see if i can record something when i'm at this thing um Maybe it's going to be shaky because I'm not going to bring a gimbal or anything. I'm just going to bring my phone and record like that. Uh, just to be a little, dis a little bit discreet, you know. Obviously, with the queen around and all. So, uh, this is going to be interesting. So, uh, see you down there. Actually, this town here, Gasum, that is where we go to the church. And I guess that's why they put flags all over. And as you know, I'm not uh, I'm not a Christian, but I'm gonna join in on that. It's just, you know. It's the neighboring town of uh, Visting.
I guess you uh, saw the police and all when I pulled in here. Um, now I'm just waiting for my parents to arrive because they bring the invitation. They bring my invitation. I don't have it myself. It was sent to them. So uh, I'm waiting for those. I'm waiting for them to arrive so that I can have it. So uh, I can enter the <laughs> the area because obviously the area is well protected uh, to to protect the queen. But uh, let's see how it goes. Bliv otte mænd her fra byen og egnen ofre for den grusomme ideologi, der dengang havde lagt store dele af verden i lænker, frataget millioner af deres liv og menneskelighed. Disse stærke jyders tro på, at retfærdighed og frihed ikke kan grædbøjes. Deres tro på, at nationer ikke bygger på frygt for en besættelsesmagt, gjorde dem til en del af en ny bevægelse. En modstandsbevægelse, der i antal måske ikke var imponeret, men hvis betydning var og er. Good morning, my friends. Well, this here is my boondogging spot. It's Sunday morning. And uh, 
I'm getting ready to drive out from here. Yesterday, I was at this uh, thing where we met the queen. They had, had lunch with the queen and we went to uh, the place where the people from the resistant group my granddad was in uh, where they are buried and uh, after that we actually went to a church for uh, a memorial service and as you know I'm I'm not a Christian um, but I went anyway but uh, it was quite interesting the whole thing was was neat um, I did not film anything at the church it just kind of felt you know I was thinking about filming when the Queen walked in and but the church was quite small and I believe we were around 80 people there and it just felt wrong to uh, to uh, take the camera out and start filming while people were enjoying the service so uh, so I didn't um, but I hope you enjoyed this uh, this here video uh, um, I know for sure it was uh, it was an experience and uh, I enjoyed the whole thing and uh, Today I'm just on my way back to uh, to the Copenhagen area. Tomorrow I'm working in uh, not too far away from from uh, where the nest is parked. Actually, uh, in Køge. The first job is in Køge, just helping out a, a colleague getting started, a new colleague. And then I'm driving to the south of Zealand. Uh, and then actually the rest of the week is down south so uh, so that's nice but anyway as I said I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you've had a nice weekend and you guys remember life is good take care bye bye